The City Ethics Commission wanted to set the record straight on how it handled the Kealoha investigation four years ago. But the man who led the investigation, Chuck Tato, disagrees with the Commission's findings, leaving the record murkier than ever. Manolo Morales follows up. Manolo? Joe Tato was the executive director at the time, and he stepped down in the middle of the investigation. He and the commission don't even agree on why he left. The problem was I was unable to do my job once those cases were taken away from me. Chuck Tato started investigating ethics violations against the Kealohas in 2015 for using police resources to provide security in their Kahala home. The KLO has then filed complaints against him and the investigator, former HPD Captain Letha DeCaris. The Ethics Commission then pulled both of them from the case. The rug was pulled out from under Letha when her contract had ended and would not be renewed despite our repeated, or my repeated requests. Um, and the rug was pulled out from under me when I was taken off all the cases. We don't want the KLO Haas or anybody else to say, He's got an axe to grind. Lisa DeCaris has an axe to grind. We don't want that. Let's take it and give it to somebody else. The commission says it wanted to avoid any conflicts of interest and hired another investigator. In 2016, Tato resigned as executive director. He points out in addition to taking the K-Law case away from him, the commission also never verified whether the complaints by the K-Law has against him were even valid. When you have the largest corruption case in the history of the state staring at you and your commission gives you no support and in fact delays and delays things despite your request to get support that made it untenable the former executive director of the commission voluntarily resigned from the commission and that had absolutely nothing to do with the KLO Haas. Now, the commission also pointed out that commissioners, as required by law, do not know the details of the investigation. So commissioners only took Tato and DeCaris off the case to avoid a conflict of interest after the issue was raised. Joe. Thanks, Manolo.